at the beautiful Lili'u Okalani Gardens in Hilo on the windward side of Hawaii Island. The gardens is celebrating their 100th anniversary this year, and they've got a bunch of events happening uh, to celebrate. I am here with Roxy and also KT. Roxy, why don't we start with you? Now, you guys have an annual event, uh, the Queen Lili'u Okalani Festival. Tell us about that. That's coming up in September, right? Exactly. It's uh, set for September 9th. 2017 begins at 9 a.m. and runs to about 4 p.m. The festival was developed to celebrate the Queen's birthday and in addition to that it was to promote uh, and to educate people about the significance of the of the gardens and um, every year we have three to four hundred hula dancers that are scattered throughout the park and they all dance to the Queen's hula and they dance Hilo, my hometown, while we take 50,000 orchid blossoms up into the helicopter and create a floral rain. Besides that, we have taiko drumming and tea ceremony. We have cultural activities. It's free of charge. Everyone gets to participate. There's something for all ages. Every year, we have people returning to the island just to attend the festival. Wow, it sounds like a great event. Uh, what about parking? Parking is limited, so what, we, what we've arranged is that people can park at the Hilo Civic Auditorium and catch a free shuttle that is free of charge, runs all day long. So you can come, enjoy the festival, do some activities. We have children's games to keep the KK busy. And it's a wonderful event, um, and it mm -hmm. perpetuates the culture, the Hawaiian language, and mostly the hula. Yes. Uh, what does this festival mean for the island? Well, I think it means that we can exemplify to the rest of the world how we share in the diversity of our cultures and how we all get along. And it's a perfect example of how community organizations, private enterprise, and government can work together for the common cause. KT, tell us about some of the other events happening this year. Friends of Lily Okalani Gardens is cooperating with other community organizations in order to support their events too. Um, coming up immediately on Sunday, May 7th, is the Hilo Huli on Coconut Island, Mokuola, and that's sponsored by the Rotary Club of South Hilo. We'll be flying Koi Nobori, the Koi wind socks, in order to celebrate Lay Day, Children's Day, and bring attention to Hilo Huli. In June, we have Kamehameha Day on the 11th on Moku'ola. In July, we'll be celebrating the 20th anniversary of Urasenki, their 45th year with a presence here in the gardens. In uh, August, we have Hitomi Gilliam coming from Vancouver for a floral design masterclass. And in September, a regional convention of Japanese gardeners. Okay, so that's a lot of events. I'm sure, you know, if people didn't have their pen and paper ready, they probably missed it. Um, but we're going to have some of that on our information, and they can always go to your website, right, to get more information as if well. If they go to the Friends of Lily Okalani Gardens Facebook page, we'll have the events there. Okay, we're almost out of time, but real quickly, tell us what your organization does. We follow three paths. We have monthly maintenance activities here in the gardens, helping the county with projects that they cannot achieve. Uh, we have a capital improvements project to bring back some things that have gone missing with the tsunami that have come through this area. And we have centennial events. I'm sure volunteers are very important to your organization. Fair. So if you are able to help, right, and make a difference in this community, please uh, give them a call. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Pleasure. What a beautiful place. That is nice. I love that area. You go back to Hilo quite a bit. Your dad. Well, my dad lives there. in Mountain View, but I used to go back every summer as a kid. So I, I feel like I kind of grew up in Hilo. Mm -hmm. My uh, grandparents lived off the golf course on Ivalani Street in Waikea Uka, the Waikea district, mm -hmm. and so I was there all the time. And in fact, we used to go to that area a lot because Fun Factory was close to there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I could see as a visitor or even as a Kamaaina, you know, it's the perfect yeah. place to picnic, enjoy the view. And when the weather's nice. You can't find a better spot. Yeah. Especially when the cloud the, the clouds are clearing over Mauna Kea, yes. and I would imagine there's a lot of snow there today, but it's just a beautiful sight. Gorgeous.